Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm super pumped about this DIY. We're going to be doing nails. I'm taking the Beauty and Salon nail art, um, like a fake acrylic nails. You don't have to use white, of course, but I use Sally Hansen nail polish brand. Sally Hansen is that girl. And Wet n Wild as well. Using the nail fowler. I forgot what that wooden tool is called. I have to think. And this glue is from Kiss. Like, this specific glue is what is going to really make or break you. Because if, if, the, if the glue is, is trash, like, your nails aren't going to stay on. So, that glue. And it comes, basically, you basically have sets of nails. And they all have numbers on them. And I'm just matching up my nail size. Trying to find my perfect nail shape and for nails I always go a, like if I'm stuck between two shapes I always go a size like smaller than bigger because you don't want the nail to look like big on your hand but of course try to get it as close as possible don't have it too small of course not but if it's two of them that fit like pretty similar go with the smaller one in my opinion it looks better I'm not a nail artist, I'm not a nail tech at all, none of that, like, I'm just saying what I think looks good, and plus I've just, like, seen, like, how, basically, I, got, I get my nails done all the time, so I kind of figured it didn't be too hard, so I'm basically just, like, going in with, and just matching up my nails, and just putting them aside, so that way when it's time to glue, I can just glue them all down, so I just pick out my size first, and then that way, it just works faster for me, and that's the process, now I'm going to foul the top of my, my hands are washed, make sure your hands are washed and dry of all oils and lotions and things like that. And then I'm going to push my cuticles back so it can all be like an even nail bed. And dang, I cannot remember what this tool is called. I don't know what, I forgot. I cannot think of it for anything. Okay, so I'm just basically put putting my cuticles back for a perfect nail bed. I cannot tell y'all the number of people that I've put on to like press on. Not even like just having to do them yourself, but like even just like press ons from like Walmart and Target. Like I've put so many people on the press ons. Like press ons that have literally made like a crazy comeback. They are literally so cute now. Like they have really stepped their game up. Like the press on the press on game like really has stepped up. So they literally come in all shapes and sizes. And of course even with these nails, like this is just like say you can't make it to the nail shop, you wanna put some nails on real quick. Or if you just wanna practice on yourself and just wanna you know you only you know that like how you wanna get your nails. So if you wanna just do them yourself if you, if you wanna just like have fun or just like do something like do your own nails some people really like to do their own nails and it's really like therapeutic by like listening to music or watching a tv show and just like doing your nails if you just like want to try it out and you can also get like shorter nails you don't have to get the coffin shape they got the stiletto shape they have shorter shape so you can get like any size you want you don't have to get like these specific ones but coffin shape was at the time what I like loved and what I always got like now I love like short nails now I'm all about short nails and I don't know why I still have to wait a bit but yeah so now I'm gluing on the nails and I'm telling you guys this is the only glue it has to come in this tube any other kiss glue I feel like they don't stay on the nails don't stay on so this glue comes in I, I've never seen it like separate by itself like sold separately this glue comes in their press on kits like if you get a kiss brand press on like nail kit then it comes with this glue this glue is like, like, 
this glue is the best like <laughs> just get it like it's gonna help your nails stay on longer and me i was just doing this this night like i was getting my nails done the next day like so i was just doing this for this video i had had my nails off and i had a little a little time so i'm like let me go ahead and my I mean like do this video because I've literally been planning this video for so long because of the amount of people that like wanted to know about my press -ons. like I would get caught for a while I was doing my own nails this was like two years ago because like my nail tech this is how I got started with press -ons. because my nail tech she moved back to her country for like a year and I didn't have nobody to do my nails. And I really hate nail shops. Like, hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. Like, I really hate nail shops. So, I just started doing my own nails. That's how I got on to, like, doing my own nails, like, press -ons. So, I have always known that I wanted to, like, do a video for, like, how I do my nails. Because when I was wearing my nails like this, like, I would do, like, um, like, cute little colors and stuff like that. I would always get compliments on them, like, all the time. And even just like the press on nails that come in the packages, like the ones that are already done for you, even those I will always be compliments on. And I'll be like, these are press ons. And people will be like, what? It's like not being able to believe like that they're a press on. So, baby, the press on game, the, they done can't win. So, now this is like the most important part for me. You can leave them how they come, but for me, I like my nails really, really, really skinny. Like when it comes to like coffin shape, I like them really skinny. Like me and my nail tech, like we literally, we are so close and like we already know, like we always bounce off of each other with ideas and things like that. And so she already know like, I like my nails really skinny. Every time I, she do my nails, she's like, I know you like them really skinny. So she be making them really skinny. I like my nails like skinny when it comes to like coffee shape. I don't like them when they're kind of like, you know, like wider. But I mean, of course it's about preference. If you like your, if you don't want them to be like super skinny, then of course you don't have to make them this skinny. But I'm just styling them. And I'm just styling them in like a slanted motion to make like the the top part of the nail slim like super narrow and then like <laughs> you just gotta watch it's easier to watch I'm going like in a slanted as you can see like a slanted motion and I'm just really making the nail more narrow so look at the difference You can leave yours like that if you like, if that's good enough for you. So either one. But I do go back in and make it even more skinnier. Because I like I'm really skinny. <laughs> so, yeah. Keep on battling. But, yeah, I, I did these like, I was doing this like two years ago. So that was back when I like like coffin nails. Like now, I'm like I don't really like long nails anymore. I'm like growing up and I'm like classy and I'm like I like short nails. Like short nails are just so cute and like it's just like they're where it's at. Short nails are popping, but I do love coffin nails though. But I just I don't know. Look at that. That looks good. I shaped the fuck out of that nail. Like, look. That, that nail looks great. And I'm not a nail tech or anything like that. So, I mean, I just did the best that I could. But, of course, you do it to your liking how you would want your nails to be. And this is the before and the after for my pointer. Shape don't fold. That shape don't fold. That looks good. Like, I really shaped the hell out of that deal. Period. Period, boom. 
Since we're at the nail salon, we're going to pretend like we're at the nail salon. I'm going to give you guys some pointers on how to get your nails to look good and to make them last. Make sure that your, your hands are clean. Make sure you got a good fowler because fowling is going to get you to shape. So make sure you got a good fowler. And you can get a valid from like Walmart, of course. Just make sure that it's not like, you know, one that's like needs to be replaced, like a real old one. Just make sure it's, it's good to go. Using that glue is going to help you. Oh, when I put, normally when I put on the nails, like if I want them to like last, I put them on my nail bed. I put the glue on my nail bed and I also put it on the back of the nail. But like I said, I was taking these nails off right after I finished filming this video because I was getting my nails done the next day. So I didn't put that much glue on, but this is how they turned out. They look good. I really like the shape, the coffee shape, and I like them so far. They look good. And I'm using Sally Hansen White Nail Polish. Of course, you can use whatever color that you want. Pink, purple, green, blue, red, black, any color that you want. Sally Hansen is a really good brand when it comes to, like, nail polish and, like, just other, like, things. But I really love her nail polish, and I'm using the white. And, of course, if you are, I'm, I really suck at painting nails. Like, I've just never been good at painting nails, like, ever. But, of course, the more practice that you get, the better you'll get. Plus, I was kind of in a rush. I had something to do. So, yeah. If you're better painting than me, your nails will turn out much better. But I just painted them as neat as I could. Plus, on top of that, I'm not a good painter, like, anyway. But it's still fun to do, even... If you're not a good painter, they look good from afar. People don't need to be all in your nails anyways. But of course, try to get it, you know, as neat as possible. And just take your time with painting. Let your nails dry all the way. Letting your nails dry takes literally forever. But let them dry and your nails are going to last. As long as you make sure that you foul them, make sure that your hands are washed. Fouling them and your hands being washed will also help with the application and making sure that they last you for at least a week, maybe like a week and a half, you know. But you can't, I mean, they're still press on, so you can't be acting all, you know, crazy. But it's not like you have to, like, be cautious. They do last, like, with you know the proper care and I used to always get compliments on them all the time when I was back when I was doing my nails nobody ever knew you couldn't tell you can't tell that I didn't go to a nail salon I think they looked they turned out really great but I just suck at painting and then this is like my left hand that I'm doing it right now now, I know I have the ugliest hands ever, like, I have my dad's hands, like, if you were to put, like, my hands up to my dad's hands, they literally look identical, so, I got ugly little hands, so that's why, I, that's another reason why I have to, like, keep my nails done, because, nah, sis, mm-mm, mm-mm. I love getting my nails done, even doing your nails is just... It's just fun. So if you want to try this out, I definitely think that you should. Even if you don't want to do, like, the long nails. And it's really convenient for if you just always like to change up your nails. And if you want something, you know, other than, like, your real nails. It's just really convenient. You can change it up. You can get short ones. And I'm going to link everything down below. I'm going to link the... I got those nails off of Amazon, I believe. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it was off of Amazon because I ordered everything off of Amazon. And I'm always shopping on Amazon. And, yeah. I go in with, some, with the Q-tip and nail polish remover. 
And I just go around the edges and just try to clean it up a little bit where it got on my skin. So it just to make it look a little bit more neater, try to clean up my ugly paint job. Of course, if you paint better, yours will turn out better. And then I go in with clear nail polish just to like solidify everything and just like really make it come alive. And I love clear nail polish, like how it can just, it just like turns it, like it just takes the nail look to a whole different level. Like I love watching, even when I'm getting my nails done, I love to watch like when the clear gel like comes on. It's getting like put on my nails just to like see the nail like really come alive. I don't know, it's just so satisfying to watch. What do y'all think? Like, do y'all be watching while you're getting your nails done? Or are y'all like, we be chilling? Me and my nose tech, we be talking, we be watching stuff. We be really like telling each other everything. Like, like literally. But I also do watch her do my nails sometimes because I just like to see like the transformation of the nails and like how they just come alive because i love nails and just like just bomb just nails but i like my nails really simple like what type of girl do y'all are y'all are y'all team long nails or team short nails let me know in the comments leave some comments below and let me know are you team short nails or team long nails I'm definitely team short nails. I used to be team long nails, but of course that's why I have these coffin nails because this was from like back in my day when I used to like long nails when I was ghetto. But let me know, are you team long nails or team short nails? And let me know what Bay like. Like, what does he like you with? Team long? Is he team long nails or team short nails? Do your man like you with long nails or short nails? Mine like short nails. But I've been liking short nails before. <laughs> before, like, I knew that he liked short nails. So, it's just a coincidence. But what do, let me know what team you're on. And let me know what your man like as well in the comments. Let's talk. Let's have some girl talk in the comments. I added some rhinestones to the nails and I just like that little pop of little something. And I'm just so glad that I finally got to film this video because I've had this video planned for like two years. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment below. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. And please subscribe to my channel to everyone you know to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!